and as you've heard, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, there should be a brand new big update to the game. Right now on Stripe, it's 11.15 a.m. on April 24th, 2020. Right now, to encourage eco-friendly behavior here on Stripe, we're celebrating Nature Day. May 4th is the final day of the special activities. Now, let's get in uh, the eco-friendly spirit, everyone. So I guess it's like Nature Day, or I think in real life, um, yesterday was Earth Day. Now for additional announcements. Thanks to everyone's loyal patronage, business at Tom Nook's, or at Nook's Cranny is booming. It's going so well, in fact, the shop has outgrown its current footprint. A remodel is in the works to give uh, our favorite brotherly business duo a few more shelves to stock. That's awesome. The shop will be closed tomorrow to complete the remodel. The drop-off box will be unavailable. So if you have any urgent buying or selling to do, take care of it today before the construction begins. That's all for now. Hope you all have, uh, all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Awesome, so yeah, I guess the uh, shop will finally be upgraded. Very excited for that. I think there might be some new characters in town. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Nature Day is beginning. There's some mail for us as well. Let's check it out. Oh, oh there we go. Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff. Okay, we have some Nook shopping. That I guess I, I, yeah, I bought a bunch of posters, didn't I? So let's go ahead and get some of those out of the way. And then we have some stuff from the Happy Home Academy. Can't wait to see that. Uh, 51,980 points, rank S. Wow, your home topped the 20,000 point mark. That's cause, cause for a celebration. And a special gift from the HHI. I guess it's because we have the, uh, the Easter room right now. Uh, the uh, Egg Day Room. That's really cool, can't wait to see what that is. We also got a letter from Nintendo. Dear Zebra, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show you our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well from Nintendo. All right then, so we got that one. And then over this way, Bank of Nook. Uh, we're writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. As an apology for any inconvenience, please enjoy the attached gift. We appreciate your business. That's sort of a shame, but I guess we get something out of it still. Um, and then finally, Tom Nook. Dear Zebra, I'm writing to advise you of some special Nook Miles Plus activities that are available from now until May 4th, all part of the Nature Day event. Yes, yes, I do hope you'll come see me for more de details, hmm? All right then, so we'll definitely do all that, sort of just have a major Nature Day focus. Um, iron and stone fence, I guess I didn't learn this last episode, so let's learn this now real quick. So yeah, I learned a DIY recipe for an iron stone fence. Um, Marine Song 2001, yeah, this was just like different KK Slider stuff and the different posters. Um, I definitely have to organize my inventory, but we'll do all that soon enough. Right now, I'm just focused on checking out all the new stuff. That's what I'm really excited for. But we also got this present from the HHA, um, bronze HHA plaque. Oh, I can't put that. I guess that's sort of something you put on the wall. Interesting. Uh, we also have, this was from Tom Nook, right? Oh, it's a world map. Oh no, this was the update item. And then this is from Tom Nook. Uh, bell bag rug. Interesting, so we'll definitely have to check out both of those. Um, that'll be inside. So for right now, I'm not gonna worry about it. We also have some Nook Miles to check out. So I guess limited Nature Day activities ends on May 4th um, are the ones with the little green symbol. So you can see this one is plant shrub starts. Haven't done that before. Is that new? I think that's new with the update. And then also, decorated decorator. You got an S ranking from the Happy Home Academy. Your decorating skills are truly an inspiration and you deserve some Nook Miles. So we got 1,000 Nook Miles from that, over 15,000 in total now, which is very exciting. And also, shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxuries. Shop to your heart's content with Nook shopping and you'll earn Nook Miles. So I guess we bought over 20 things. So I'll get another 500 miles. And anything else? No. Well, that was very exciting, very cool. Uh, definitely lots of fruit have we grown. It's been a couple days. Oh, hello, who are you? Leaf, hey, 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 and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Zebra. Did you say zebra? What a happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. I heard that my good pal Timmy started up a shop here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Oh, really, you're friends with Timmy. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes in, in weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself is a blank ca canvas that you can paint however you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I brought with me will be featured in your final masterpiece. What's a shrub? Oh, what a happy coincidence. I was just thinking to myself that shrubs are too often overlooked. Shrubs are kind of like little trees. Or are they more like flowers, but bigger? However, you see them. What matters is that they bloom seasonally and add something special to a garden. By the way, today I am selling the happiest shrub I know of, the azalea. And lucky for us, it's currently in season, so we don't have to wait for, to appreciate its lovely blossoms. Anyway, meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, Zebra. 
All right, well, I definitely want to check out what you have. Biff is looking exhausted over there. Uh, I am so happy to see you again. What can I do for you? I'm here to shop. Oh, yes. I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and saplings I've, been, I've got with me today. So, we have pink azalea start, white azalea start, red hibiscus start, yellow hibiscus start, and then we also have a bunch of different flowers. That's so cool. So, I'll definitely buy some of these. Um, I don't know exactly where I want to put them, but they seem great. So... Okay, they're available in bulk. I, I'm really not sure. Um, you know what's best for your garden? Is there anything else I could do for you? I think I want the red hibiscus start for my house. I think I want to put that right next to the trash can. There should be a little bit of extra room there. Um, just one. And then maybe I'll set up some of the other ones somewhere else. I like the yellow hibiscus over there too. So definitely do that. Uh, so I'll just buy five of the yellow hibiscuses, <laughs> plural for hibiscus. Um, yep. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So there is that done. So, so I think this person, I think Leaf is a koala, right? <laughs> They're so cute. Um, I think that's gonna be it there. And I wanted to sort of talk to you. Oh, Pashmina is also getting ready for some stretching. So happy to see you again. Let's talk weeds. Oh, zebra. Are you interested in selling weeds? Yeah, I know it feels it, how it feels to start pulling some weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. Exactly. I had a feeling. But gardening should make you happy, Zebra, which is why I have decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. And if you act now, I'll double the what the Nooklings are offering. That's 20 bells per clumps of weed. Ooh, we'll definitely have to do that. It's a win-win. You get paid for all that hard work you put into pulling the weeds, and I get to enjoy your pristine weed-free island landscape. So. Can I buy some of your weeds? Not right now, but I'll definitely get some to you later. Ah, so it goes. If you change your mind, I, I'd be happy to do business with you, because I don't think you're gonna be here every day. I think you're gonna be like CJ and Flick, where you only show up occasionally. Anyways, I hear, flying around somewhere, there it is. Uh, this should be money, too. So pretty interesting start to the day, getting some money falling from the sky. Oh, not the fence, <laughs> whoops. Uh, can I put that back, please? Uh, build fence. Turn around. Perfect. <laughs> Scared the bug away, but it happens. So let's see how much money we made out of that balloon. 5,000 bells. And over this way, got some extra bells on this tree. Always good to get that. We'll walk around and hit the uh, the trees or the rocks soon enough, but for right now, I wanna talk to villagers. Just wanna catch up with everybody. Whoa, I think it worked. Hey, zebra. I've been training my brain muscles for this thing called telepathy. It's for strong minds only. I started thinking really, really hard about you, and here you are. So how have you been? I've been good, how are you? You're just raring to go, so uh, what do you need, Squirt? Let's chat. I tripped while doing sprints and ended up with up trampling a few flowers. Everything looked fine, but I still kind of feel bad. I don't want to want to wreck someone else's work. Well, I think you're, at least you're being nice about it. It was an accident, it happens. Hey, it's weight tra is it weight training time? What can I give you? Oh, what do you got, Squirt? I don't know. Um, a hamster cage. I think he gave that to me, so I don't want to give that back. That'd be rude. Um, I don't know what to give him. I could give him a cupcake again. A birthday cupcake sounds delicious right about now. I don't know if he'll give me anything in return. Not really. Uh, let's talk to Pashmina. Yo, Zebra, how are you? Haven't caught up in a while. Nobody's seen you here in like weeks. What are you, what are you talking about? It's not been weeks. It's been like maybe one week. Yeah, it's been a week as of today since I've last played. Don't tell me you were just spaced out in front of the TV all this time, because I totally would have joined you. It has not been weeks. <laughs> yeah, what's up, kidders? Uh, let's chat. Looks like another plot of lands opened up. I wonder who's gonna show up next, kidders. I really hope it's someone who loves a loud rock star scream, because, you know, mine's kind of great. Yeah, well, me too. Anyways, it looks like we have some bulletin board stuff. Um, oh no, did I miss Gus's birthday? Or not Gus, Stu. Who's Gus? I don't know. <laughs> Stu's birthday. Um, I missed it, unfortunately. Um, but we also have this. Renovation notice. Thanks to your support, we're starting to remodel the shop. Uh, it will be closed April 25th, so we can carry out renovations. So that's tomorrow. So I'll just have to make sure that if we play tomorrow, that I keep that in mind. I'll definitely check out the shop today. But um, we do have true friends. It's good news for Nook Incorporated when an island residents get along. Good relationships are a cornerstone to, uh, of island development. I don't know what exactly that means, but I'm glad everybody's getting along. 
So let's go into the town hall now. We'll catch up there, we'll check out the, uh, the nook stop, all that kind of stuff, and hopefully it goes well. Hi guys. <laughs> oh yeah, let's also check out the recycling. We have long plaid skirt and iron nuggets, birch flooring, and finally, red hy hyacinth bag. Cool. Hi Tom. How are you? <laughs> Isabel's sleeping over there. She worked so hard schedule and everything, she just started snoozing. Zebra, for a limited time, we're going to have a special Nature Day promotion for Nook Miles Plus members. During the event, we'll be giving out more miles than usual for your eco-friendly island activities. We'll also have a special gift, so do, so do consider participating in the event, won't you? Of course, it's my hope that island residents will be eco-friendly all the time, not just around Nature Day. Of course, you always gotta be eco-friendly. This is the construction consultation center, how can I help you? Uh, what should I do? I don't know if he has anything new for us. We're on the last part of Project K, the grand plan. Yeah, okay. Um, raise the image of this island. Okay. So we'll definitely work on that throughout time. I'm trying to, of course. Uh, for right now, we just gotta keep improving the town, keep putting stuff out there. Uh, it's something I'm trying to keep up with. Uh, welcome to the Nook Stop. So we get 50 bonus miles. This has been, like I said, about a week since I've last played. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. Anything new here? Uh, we do have some new fences. I don't know if either of these are actually new for me. Yep, I already have this one. I wonder how many different fences there really are. Yep, I already have it. Okay, I thought so. So we have to 16,000 miles that I could do something with at some point. Um, everything else is usually here permanently, so I don't have to worry about getting it now. If I wanna get it later, that's fine. Uh, please from the following services. Uh, Nook Shopping. Uh, we got Mrs. Flamingo, Utility Sink. Uh, I'd rather not get this one if I don't have to, but you know what, maybe I will get it. I hope I don't already have it. <laughs> Denim cap, yeah, that's what we have on right now. So it seems like we're sort of cycling through what's available from this specific store. I don't think I got the stew poster, so let's also buy that. Okay, so I have all the different villager posters now. That'll be cool. And I will sign off. Cool, so with that done, we are going to head back out and sort of see what else is going on around here. I know I want to go to Timmy and Tommy. I, I need to definitely organize my inventory first though, because I just, I, I need to do that. So I'll be right back and we'll get that done. So I will eventually decorate some of the other stuff I got, but I did want to try the, the, the world map right now. So hang on wall. Oh, fancy, I like that. I might want to move it a little bit later, but for right now, I think that's fine. Cool, I didn't know if it was going to be like a map of our town, but obviously it says world map. And then this is, oh, that's so fancy too. So this little bell rug instead of actually receiving bells from interest, I suppose. Don't know which one's actually better. Um, I would have rather have just bought that with the extra interest I could have earned, but you know, I'm, an, I'm, n I'm not really in control of that. We got the hamster cage, um, the, the long plaid skirt, and then the birch flooring. Ah, okay, so that's white. I don't think it works for this room, but I definitely consider that for another room, for sure. Um, so, so far, so good. I know that I still have all the Easter stuff in here, right? I think so. We'll definitely have to sort of tune this up a little bit. I think that as I get more kitchen supplies, because <laughs> this room, definitely not what I had envisioned for it, but you know, it's not a bad looking room. I'm glad it gave us our S rank for a happy home. That's always cool. And I'm sure that we will uh, continue to do that as we grow our house and get more stuff. That will certainly help. Um, but yeah, our inventory's a lot more clear now. I don't exactly know where I want to put the bush. I thought that maybe I had a bit more room over this way. So maybe it'd be better to get the bush here and get the trash can on the other side. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then over here, place the, the garbage can. Can I push it back a little bit? Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, I didn't realize I could actually throw something out. Don't want to do that, but good to know. I might have to reconfigure that at some point, but for right now it's not too bad. We got some Nook Miles done, I'm thinking for uh, shrubbery hubbubbery. <laughs> different kinds of shrubs usher in the different seasons with their flowers, yes, yes. Folks who plant many shrubs will receive beauty and miles as a reward. So one out of one, we get one. So we need to plant five in total, which we should be able to do that in today's episode. So that'll be cool. I feel like I'm not a very good judge of where the bushes should go, but honestly, I think that the museum would look really good with some shrubs. So you know what? Maybe I do know what I'm doing. So let's plant one right there. I wanna plant them along the sides of it. Okay. And then I'll have to get more soon, but for right now, maybe knock this tree over. 
so that I have a little bit more room to work with here. No, that's a net. <laughs> Wrong thing. There's the ax. One, two, and three. Perfect. And then dig that up real quick. So I'll probably wanna run around um, the town now just to make sure I get everything done so that we actually have money to, to use at uh, Timmy and Tommy's Nook's Cranny. Because right now we don't have too much money on us. And look at that, we got more Nook Miles done. First off, we got the long-term shrubbery, hubbubbery, uh, five, and then we need 20, which we'll definitely do that at some point. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, but also we get our daily uh, nature day activity times five for this. Very cool, so that's 200 miles. I mean, actually a thousand, because 200 times five. Um, so definitely we got some other daily doubles here that I'll be getting to soon enough. But for right now, our goal is just to run across the town and multitask, get as much stuff as we possibly can done. Um, there's some cherries that we can check out here. Definitely get these. Oh, I think I hear a present flying around somewhere. So we'll definitely have to do that. But yeah, there's just so much to do. And then April's coming to an end, so I do wanna make sure that I get some of the fish I'm missing, that'll definitely be good. I need to look around to see where that present might be, because I definitely hear it. Aha, over there, it's money again. Wow, okay. Come on, come on. Nope, I missed. I'm a little bit too far over. There we go. And what will that have? A basket pack, usually the yellow gives me money. Weird, but hey. Huh, okay, so yeah, I learned a DIY recipe for a basket pack. Now I can make a pack of baskets. No, I didn't mean to do that, I mean, I guess that's fine. These regrow, so maybe I should be doing this more often. Uh, make myself a quick buck that way, too. Is that something I should be doing, though? Does that damage the flowers? It looks so pretty with that, without me doing that, though, you know? I don't know. <laughs> maybe we'll do it today, and we'll see what ends up happening. Because I have definitely accidentally have done it, and I always come back so far. Maybe if I do it to all of them at once, the game will be like, no, you've, you've got your privileges of nice flowers taken away. Oh, yeah, I missed one. But it could just make me some easy cash, and that's good. They get to look pretty, and they get to make me money. Alrighty then, so there's all that. And then down this way, I think there were definitely a couple more orange trees. There's a money tree, and then we can get set up with this other money tree spot. Right here, so I'll shovel that up. So basically we're just doing our, our daily to-do list as we normally do. So let's not forget to actually put the money in there. Don't press the wrong button. Bury in a hole. Perfect. So a thousand bells in, a thousand bells out. Nothing lost, nothing gained for now. We'll gain some more later. So there's actually no shells out here right now, weird. I do see Pashmina walk around in the background too. Yeah, I'm glad that we got to meet Leaf. Very cool update so far with the shrubs and Nature Day. I think there were a couple more things added, like there's a couple new characters that we'll get to see at some point. I don't exactly know when or how. I'll have to look into it, but I would like to stumble upon it if I can. And I think I'm a little bit more behind on the game than most people are, so it's okay if I take my time getting to it. <laughs> also, that orange landed on her. Hope she's all right. Um, and I think I might have missed a rock somewhere, so I might go back, try to get that. Yeah, just gonna grab all these flowers. Might as well. I don't know if the bee's gonna like that, so I gotta be careful. Don't wanna get stung by him. Oh yeah, here it is. So get our shovel out, dig right here, and then we have this nice little corner to chill out in. Perfect. I can't quite see from here if I'm doing everything right, but it sounds like it. Okay, that's it. And we actually got a Nook Miles Plus for that too, didn't even realize. But we got a couple of Iron Nuggets, which is good, because I, I haven't talked to Timmy and Tommy yet, but I'm guessing that we're going to need a lot of materials so that we can build up the Nook's Cranny again. Oh, have I gotten you? I don't think I have. Maybe, maybe not. Nice, okay, we got it. That is the Citrus Longhorn Beetle, so I think maybe we have. Okay, that's fine, had to make sure. But yeah, we have to make sure because uh, with Nook's Cranny, remember that when we first had to build it, we needed to get a whopping 30 iron nuggets, 30 of each wood. It was a lot. So I can only imagine it's gonna be just as much work now to upgrade Nook's Cranny. Oh, we got the money rock. But we've been collecting things every time I've been playing. So hopefully I'll be a little bit more prepared for that. That would be good. 
Anyways, here is some extra cash. This should get us over 20,000, there it is. 22,000, 23,000, not bad. So I'll put that away for now as I'm running around and shoving trees, getting their fruit. Because three coconuts seems to be enough to really make everything work out quite well. That's good. Yeah, I would love to hear how you're enjoying the new update. Have you been able to uh, check everything out? What, what are some cool new features that you're excited about? And they've also announced, they've been sort of crazy with announcing things. They announced like the next two holiday events. There is another one coming up where it's like a maze on an island. And then there's another one where it's, uh, you go to the museum and you get stamps, something like that. I'm not really entirely sure what's going on with those, but I'm very happy about it because it's just new stuff to check out. But for right now, my focus is on just making the most of the end of April. Like I said before, there are a couple of fish I need to get that might be a little bit more of a focus next episode. Anyways, boom, get some iron nuggets. Can every single one of these, nope, I was gonna say, be iron nuggets, that'd be pretty crazy. I don't know if I really even need that many anymore. Because I have like a couple of stacks, like three or four of them. Because I think the max stack is 30. So let's check out what our, uh, this was a Nook Miles Plus. I wanna make sure I activate that so that I can move on to the next thing. But there's 200 more miles, because that's times two. And next one is chopping wood, which I will definitely be getting to. If I wanna multitask that, best way to do that would be to knock over whatever fruit trees I want, because we got a couple of orange and cherry over this way. And just make sure I grab everything. Because I definitely need more wood anyways. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while, is just collect more normal wood. Because I've been quite low on it, since we had the episode where we crafted all the materials for all three of the homes uh, for Stu, uh, Celia, and Apple. And let's make sure we grab some of this. And one last orange tree right here. So, so far, we, we got the main portion of the island and I have not seen any diggable spots yet. So hopefully, they're just waiting around for us somewhere else. That would be good. But yeah, whoa, what is, what is that over there? Is that a book? Yeah, it's like somebody's journal. Huh, I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to reunite it with its owner. Huh, wonder what that's about. I'll have to look into that. Interesting. And in the meantime, we did get that uh, one Nook Miles done, which is awesome, right there. Thank you for the 150. That was not a daily double. But now we can get fossils assessed. I'll be working on that at some point. So while we're around here then, Maybe I should start knocking on more trees. Knock on wood. It, it's just so cool to see that the game is continually getting supported with new things. I can't wait to see what might be coming up for the game, what cool things might be added, all that kind of stuff. But now we got some oranges, more wood. And I should be able to make a good chunk of cash from all this fruit. That's always nice, you know? It's always good to have something that every day we can sort of tune into and be able to make the most of. Are there shells that can pop up on this beach? I don't think so. Yeah, not looking like it. Okay. Let's get back to chopping wood over by our playground. I still really hope, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I still really hope that at some point, okay, no, don't do that. Uh, we can, I gotta push it a little bit. But if we could set up like walking paths or something, that'd be cool. Why is this not letting me turn it? There we go. I was just being really picky. So, I know there's a rock down this way. Oh yeah, we need to start hitting these bamboos as well. We need to make the most of that. They're so big and vibrant now though. So proud of how they've grown. So we got three bamboo just right there. Couple over this way, because I don't have too many bamboo recipes at the moment, but I'm sure we'll get more over time. Okay, so there's more fruit to collect as well. I'm glad we're getting a lot of normal wood. Not every one of them has been normal wood, but a decent chunk of them. So what does that have to keep building up our collection like that? This is probably something I should do more often, because uh, I just want to make sure that I get all the wood that I possibly can. But it is good to see that we also are stacking up on bamboo. I probably could sell some of that soon. I don't know how much it really sells for, though. So maybe I should just hold on to it. 
who knows what kind of bamboo related uh, projects we might want to have in the future. And definitely dig this up for our first fossil of the day. Awesome. So my inventory is actually really filling up. We could probably swing by uh, Timmy and Tommy soon and make the most of that before we explore the rest of the town. But while I'm over on this part of the island, I might as well make the most of all of it. No, Mr. Slash Mrs. Flamingo. I don't know which one that was. Uh, I'm messing up my whole town today. I wish there was a way to like lock items so that like you can't just accidentally walk up and press the wrong button. Uh, let's turn you around a little bit. There you go. They're back together again. They can't stand a moment apart, those two. So back over with this. One, two, and three. Oh, did I run out of room? I don't think I got that last piece of wood. That's fine. So just get all the fruit I can, definitely. Oh, let's pick up the flowers as well. Um, and then we'll also hit that one rock that should be around here. But then, I'm going back over to Timmy and Tommy's, say hi to them for today. That'll be fun. Hope they're doing well. I'm sure they're excited. They're getting ready for renovations. I mean, honestly, if they're already closed for renovations, I guess it might mean that they might not need materials from us, which is great, but a little weird when you think about it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get this set up. We'll get a shovel out and boom, got it, turn around and get to digging. This one has some iron nuggets in it, which is always good. I feel like at some point or another, we're gonna need more clay, right? So maybe it's a good thing we're building up our collection with that now. We only get like one or two per rock, but after we hit so many rocks, even that stacks up. Because how many rocks are in our town? Uh, five, no, six. Six rocks in our town, I think. But it's weird, there's like no shells out today. It's just not a very, shell type of day, whatever that's supposed to mean. So I already checked the one on the bottom left and going around here, oh wait, there's two. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Got those two over this way, nothing. But yeah, after checking, that's like all we've got so far. So it definitely isn't a ton. But that's everything on that side of the island, so we'll definitely explore more of it soon. But for right now, let's say hi to Timmy and Tommy, see what's going on with those guys. Definitely sell them some stuff. We might be able to make a good chunk of cash here. Oh, they're, they're selling a box again, and an amp. Uh, guess what, Zebra, I have something to tell you. Nook's Cranny has been blessed with a lot of business since we first opened up here. But this is no time to sit back and relax. We've got even bigger things in mind. We're expanding the shop again. This might seem a bit sudden, but we'll be closed tomorrow so that we can begin construction right away. I know, I know, a whole day with no shop, but we'll see you again in two days, right? Yep, indeed. Zebra, welcome, welcome. Um, I wanna sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I am offering um, fruit, fruit, flowers, more fruit and flowers, um, a bit of flowers and fruit, and a bug. Uh, wow, we got so many. And some clams, and fruit. How much money will that all be? 19,270 bells, almost as much as we already have, so that's really good. Uh, happy to see it. So what about this amp? Uh, seems you're interested in the amp. Uh, that's expensive, but I'll buy it. And then over this way, there's like a nice little sleeping bag. Futon, huh. I don't think I need it, but I think it looks nice. <laughs> And then is this a generator? Yeah, it is. Oh, this would be great for the campsite. Outdoor generator. Um, How much is it? Okay, it's actually not as expensive as the amp, so I'll take it. Cool, that'll be fun to put out there. Um, And then over this way, what do we got? A pure black umbrella, um, a bat umbrella, cool. We also have the monochromatic dotted wall, white honeycomb tile wall, modern tea room wall, pink blossoming wall, and then for the floors, we have blue rubber flooring, leopard print flooring, brown honeycomb tile and cork flooring. Don't think I'm, I'm wild about any of those, but good to know my options. And I guess that's all I wanted from you guys, so thank you for your service. Uh, I will uh, definitely be coming back later once we get more fruit and fossils and stuff. But for right now, I guess I just gotta organize my inventory a little bit and then we'll tackle basically the second half of the island. Oh wait, I missed one over here. How embarrassing. 
So let's explore the second half of the island now, across the bridge over this way. We have a couple things to do. We need to collect fruit, we need to dig up weeds for sure, because I can sell those at double the price right now. Sounds like a good deal to me. Also, could take any extra shells. I wonder if there'll be any messages in a bottle around, which I can only imagine, right? I don't think they ever end up on the actual pier. But I'll just run through and get the shells now. We should have, you know, a good chunk of inventory space to make the most of it, but definitely with the weeds, I wanna make the most of that. So there's just, you know, tons, tons of busy work, for sure. Uh, and I don't see, aha, here we go. I was gonna say, I don't see a message in a bottle. That's sort of a shame, but we made it work. So, let's open that up and read it now. And I also have to talk to whatever villagers we, we pass by. Uh, to lucky you, I was reading a letter and I got from my dad back home and something he wrote gave me a solid DIY idea. I figured somebody out there would wanna try building it. And with that, good luck, secret DIY pen pal Kinbera. Uh, Apple chair, ooh, Apple would love that, wouldn't she? <laughs> I would think so. Um, so I guess it's probably like, you know, we can make some uh, furniture out of fruit. I guess that's for the apple, but we don't have any apples right now. We have to go out to more islands and hopefully find some apples soon because I've just, those are one of the few fruit I have yet to find. That and uh, peaches. Peaches and apples are the two I'm looking for. So now we're just gonna walk around, collect as many weeds as we can. Maybe I'll, I'll cut out and do some of this soon because I don't want it to be too boring. But I was trying to clear this area up a lot a couple episodes ago. Or was maybe another part of the area. There's, just a, there's a lot of weeds to get, what do you know? And I'm sure some of them have grown back because of the fact that I haven't played in a good couple of days. Um, but that's just sort of the way this game works, you know? You gotta know that going into it. And if you don't play every day, sometimes things slip by. And that's okay, because you can fix it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the stone axe. Start chopping this down. We did actually have a good chunk of all three types of wood, and I hope that we can get more of it here. A little bit worried that my axe is gonna run out of durability, but we'll tackle that once we get to it. Let's get some money here. That should be 3,000 extra bells for us. Here's the second to last rock we can dig at. I also see, of course, a digging spot. This should be a fossil for sure, so. I mean, yeah, I don't know why. I'm still in this, you know, it could be an egg mentality. It's not going to be egg days long gone. And that's fine with me, you know? We had our fun with that. Oh, that was a bad angle. There we go. So I don't know what's going on with this one. It looks like right now, two rocks, an iron nugget. Lots of rocks, even more rocks. Did I mention rocks? Because it's, it's all rocks. Except for the one. Oh, there's another digging spot right there I missed. <laughs> How did I not see that? I don't know. Oh, there's Celia, so we should ask her, you know, like, hey, is this your uh, journal? I promise I didn't read it. But we get a fossil. Cool, surprise, surprise. So I'll get over to her, I just wanna pick up the weeds first. Because this is just like if we found 20 bells on the floor. You would, you would believe that I would take my time to pick it up if it was just 20 bells sitting on the floor. It just takes a little bit of extra work. Zebra, where have you been? Is everything okay? Let me guess. I bet you've been hiding out, reading a good book. Actually, I've been trying to read a little bit more every day. If I'm right, you have to share it with me when you're done. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm guessing this is yours. Need something, Feathers? Uh, you lose this? Oh, can you show me? This right here. Is this yours? Sorry, but this isn't mine. Although, I think it may just belong to Stu, Feathers. All right then, you know, it matches his color. So I'll go say hi to Stu, haven't done that. I'm so sorry, Stu, I missed your birthday. I didn't mean to. I was just busy. <laughs> it's been a very busy week. Oh wow, I like what you've done with the place. So is, it, is there no flooring? Is it just dirt? Uh, Zebra, where have you been for the last one week? Everyone's been worried about where you were. I'm happy to see you again. You should go say hi to everybody, then we can hang out. I will. Hey, uh, what's new, Maru? You dropped this? Huh? Like what? Uh, this lost item. He has a lot of fruit related things. It's my diary, I thought I lost it. I mean, you did. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I've been looking everywhere for this. Let me give you a reward. Oh, thank you. I hope you like that, it's a flashy flower sign. Flashy flower sign, interesting. So I'll have to hang out that up somewhere. I'm glad you appreciate the deed that I've done. Uh, of course, you know, I'm always willing to help. 
So let's keep looking around. I'm sure there's still more trees to attack around here and get some more fruit and everything. That's Celia's house. We already talked to her. But I definitely will need to talk to Apple because she's the only vulture I've not talked to yet today. Okay, so let's get back to this. I want to keep on knocking down trees until we don't have any more axe durability and then we'll just start shaking the trees again. And I'll grab a couple of these. I don't want to grab every single one of them right now, but I'll definitely grab the bigger ones because they will sometimes be a couple of weeds in one. So once again, if I saw 20, 30, 40, 50 bells on the floor, of course I'd be picking it up. It just doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> so we just have not done the transaction. Oh, I see this over here. I mean, actually we're almost done getting the whole thing. See, it definitely made the most of Leaf being in your town because I have no clue how long he's going to be sticking around. Because, you know, just like Mabel too, Mabel only shows up every couple of days which hopefully we can get Mabel to move in soon, you know, set up her own shop so we don't have to worry about that. That would be cool if Leaf can set up a shop. So hopefully those are all things that happen. That'd be awesome. But for right now, just trying to make the most of this. So we got seemingly all of it. Cool, awesome. Uh, over this way, just a couple more in front of Apple's house. Yeah, Apple's house, I think we cleared out this area a bit before. Okay, we're good to get this orange tree knocked down a bit. Grab all these for sure. Don't know why my character just wasn't picking them up for a moment. And we'll definitely sell this fruit again and all the weeds. That'll be cool. And I'm pretty sure Apple's home at the moment. I haven't seen her anywhere else, so unless she was sneaking by me, well, I just wasn't looking. I think we'll be able to go to her home and say hi. Okay, yeah, nothing else on this corner, which means we're actually good just to go onto the uh, the cliff above this uh, after we're done talking to Apple. So, so far, lots of progress today. Gonna keep chipping away at it. Hi there, Apple. I have so much to tell you about so many things, Zebra. It's been forever since we talked. I'm going to get my notes together because there's so much stuff to tell you and, I, and, not, and not forget something. All right, sure. Let me know when you have your notes. Hmm? What is it, Cheekers? Did you already forget? Uh, this is for you. Oh, what is it? It is a wind flower. Here you go. Aw, oh, such pretty white wind flowers. I'll use these to decorate a poster for my first concert. Poster board, glitter glue, and these flowers. That's awesome, I hope you enjoy your concert. Hey, it's super great to see, what do you need? Let's chat. Oh my gosh, listen to this. A package for Stu accidentally got delivered to me. Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm giving him all sorts of stuff today then. I kind of thought it was for me at first, so you can imagine how upset I was when I found it. it wasn't, right? The whole thing has me stressed. Zebra, please, could you take it over to Stu for me? I'll hand deliver it for you. Thank you, Zebra. Okay, then take this. I bet Stu's really excited about getting it. So lucky Stu, he gets his journal back, he gets his delivery, sorry for the rush, but um, I was kind of hoping you could deliver it today. Yep, I can do that. So, let's go ahead and give that to him. Oh, I like your little vacuum you had, that was cute. And then we'll go to the second floor, we'll explore more stuff, try to get more fruit and everything. Should be good. So where's Stu at? He is over here. Unless he left his house, which he didn't. He's still chilling in there with all of his fruit. <laughs> Cause he had like a little fruit water kind of thing, like you put, in this thing over here, you put water in this and it makes sort of like your water fruity or something. Um, and then he has a little fruit basket and the orange chair over that way. Uh, delivery here. A delivery for me? Yep, you bet. For Stu. Here you go, buddy. You gotta be kidding. My package was delivered to Apple's place? Huh, what is it? My fleece PJs. I ordered one when I, I saw the online it online the other day. Zebra, hey, thanks for the delivery. Oh, say hi to Apple for me. Here, this is for you. Just a thing to say thanks, Maroo. Cool, I appreciate it. This is pretty cool. It's a coffee cup, I hope you like it. Oh, I love coffee cups. Okay, so we'll have that. That'll definitely be good for the kitchen. Whenever we get around to making that happen. <laughs> Not really sure what. Maybe we'll poke around with it later today or in an upcoming episode or something. But for right now, I am good to get up this way and really just get started with everything. I don't know if I'll spend too much time with weeds up here. I sort of just wanna make some quick progress because we've spent a lot of time searching around for stuff because there's a lot of weeds up here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Because there should be one rock to hit. Hopefully three more fossil spots. 
because we found three so far. If we could find an additional three for six in total, that'd be perfect. Anything over this way? There is one up there. Oh yeah, I forgot you could sneak around the back here. <laughs> That's always cool, right? Hmm. I don't see too much more at the moment. Aha, here we go. And there is another fossil spot. My angling is a bit wrong. There we go. So last rock of the day. Let's hope that has some good iron nuggets for us. So far, not too bad. Yep, there's three, four, got it. And then let's grab this fossil spot real quick. And then we'll get to catch up with Blathers and, you know, get all these assessed since we haven't seen him yet today. That'll be cool. Oh, I scared the praying mantis away, I'm sorry. I don't know if I explored every corner of over here though, so. Let's just look around a little bit more, just to make extra sure. Okay, it looks like we're good. So I guess that one over here will be our last fossil spot. So I think we got five fossils in total. Unless there's another one up here sneaking around. But yeah, that's really, really good. Okay, so here we go, fossil number five. And is there anything else going on around here? Just to make extra sure, I don't think so. All right then. So yeah, just turned noon, so I guess there's new music playing. That's always cool. So first the blathers, that way we can just sell whatever duplicates we have right away after that. That'll be cool. And then also I need to make sure I sell all the weeds I have collected, which was how many? 90 of them. I can sell those to Leaf. If it's for 20 each, that means that we should get um, 1,800 bells, right? I think so. That actually is a good chunk of cash right there, just for a couple minutes of collecting bells, so definitely happy to do that. But hey, Blathers buddy, how are you? Ooh, ooh. oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Zebra, welcome to the Stripe Museum. Why, Zebra, I've been meaning to tell you the good news. Who do you, ooh, what is that? Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Stripe, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I'm considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So like art. So if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. Well, I don't think we have anything like that. I don't think the posters count. Uh, but let's make, no wait, not make, oh wait, I don't have anything right now. Um, I need to assess first and then donate. Sess fossils. Uh, oh no, we do have six of them. My bad, I guess I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So we found everything we wanted today. Who more than one I see. I found something that's not yet a part of our esteemed collection. So we'll see what that is, we'll donate all that. But I'm so happy with how our fossil collection is growing and we just keep on collecting, or finishing off more and more of the skeletons. So let's make a donation we have Three more of them, so the Diplo tail tip, the Brachio pelvis, and then finally, the left tarot wing. Awesome. Ooh, several things I see. So that's all I have for you right now, but very exciting to hear about the different artworks. Uh, I don't know if that's something I've had the option to find, but if I do find some, I'll be sure to donate them. Hopefully they're not too expensive to obtain. Like, how would I find them? Everything else we've, that we've donated, we find naturally. Um, do you just find them maybe in like air, or the, the balloons or something? But anyways, uh, there is, you know, three fossils assessed, pop balloons, I was just talking about that. So now we should be able to go to Timmy and Tommy, sell a little bit more stuff. That'll be good. See, a lot of progress today. I'm pretty happy with it. Hello. I want to sell. So I am selling some flowers, definitely the shells, fruit, flowers, shells, not the clumps of weeds. I need to keep those for leaf. Um, definitely the fossils out. T-Rex torso, ooh, and a trilobite. 15,540 bells, so we jumped up a good chunk of cash today. I will definitely be putting some of that away in the ABD. We get even more Nook Miles, it just keeps going and going. I think that's for selling all of the shells, I would hope. But we're gonna find out. There we go. 
19,000 miles in total. That's crazy amount of miles. Definitely we gotta go exploring islands soon. It's just been so busy, I've just, I barely had the time to keep up with the normal daily tasks. I was happy to see you again. I am going to sell you some weeds now. 20 bells a clump. Yep, 1,800 bells, so I did my math right. Here you go. So that means that we are up to, I think about 53,000. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Can I help you with anything else? Not right now, but I'll let you know. Until next time, indeed. So I definitely wanna put some of that money away before I forget. Even though the interest has been lowered, according to Nook, that doesn't mean it's all the way gone. Uh, so it's always still worth it. Even if it was a very small amount of interest, it's worth it to invest our money because, you know, it gets us more money. Uh, deposit, I'm going to deposit 50,000 of it for right now. And that gets us to the 314,000. I'm just so close to paying it off. Hopefully by next episode then, that would be amazing. But I think with that, that's basically everything I wanted to do in today's episode. I had a ton of fun and hopefully you guys did too. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.